In the past couple minutes here, an update that Atlanta police are saying a total of four Asian women were shot and killed, three at Gold Spa, one at Aromatherapy Spa, and they're looking into whether these are tied to a similar incident in Cherokee County. I'm going to bring in the reporter whose tweet this is. Uh, this is Fox 5's Janice Yu. Janice, you're out there in the field right now. This is a developing breaking news story. What do you have for us? What's the latest? Yeah, we actually got an update from Atlanta police uh, not too long ago, and uh, police are saying they're, they're still very early on in this investigation, but we do know, and you read that off my tweet, was three women, three Asian women are dead in uh, the gold spa right here, and then just across the street at the aromatherapy spa is where uh, police actually initially responded to a robbery call. Uh, they found one Asian woman dead there. While they were there, that's when they got the call for uh, the, the, the incident across the street, and that's where they found those three dead bodies. Now, uh, you know, we did ask, was this racially motivated? Is there a, a suspect description? Do they have a suspect in custody? They tell us it's way too early in the investigation uh, to know these things. But what we do know is one of my coworkers is actually in Cherokee County. It's about 30 miles from where I'm standing here in uh, Atlanta. And there was a similar uh, crime that happened there. Three people were shot and killed in an Asian spa there as well. Uh, they don't know if that one's racially motivated. They don't have a suspect, suspect description. And police are trying to figure out if these two incidents are linked. Uh, again, early on in the investigation, uh, but that is the latest that we have from police just about an hour ago. Now, you're obviously there right outside of these spas. Is this whole entire area cordoned off for people to not pass through? Yeah, so this, uh, just to give you some perspective, is a busy, busy part of Atlanta. This is a busy street as well, and a chunk of it is just blocked off. We actually had some trouble getting here as well. Our crews did, so we had to kind of go around. But as of right now, traffic is not passing. Usually there'd be a lot of cars on this road, but they have sectioned this portion off so that they can uh, do their investigation. And uh, have they told you they're going to brief you anytime again soon? When's the next time we'll be hearing from police? You know, we're not sure yet. They said that they had to get right back to their investigation. The sooner they can do that, uh, the more information they'll have for us. So uh, we will keep asking, but at this point, we're not sure when our next update we're, uh, is going to be, but hopefully that comes very soon. And Janice, we're following your Twitter account, so any uh, updates that you can give on there, we'll uh, bring that up live here on News Now. So we appreciate you doing uh, work down there in the field and stay safe. Thank you so much. So really uh, kind of a short update there because they haven't told them a lot of information. There's not a lot of details that have surfaced out of Atlanta, Georgia. I was saying, though, 